Who is that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves! Here, to rob a defenseless old Cooper! This is Go on, do what you will, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here! Oh, fail a little money, take it, you fiends! And my antique shell too! Just leave the fardels of the missiles! Can't do it, I throw those memories! What? No thieves, you say? Well, what's your story then? Oh wait, your folks are looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you play up before you? It's just... We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you are hunting for? Wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? No, I got it! Hooktail! Hooktail ain't old man Scoot from all from the other town. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. Not Scoo. I hate Scoo. He ran for mayor 27,000 years ago. That is <laughs> 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 <he's> very old. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for Mario the 27,000 mayoral election. <laughs> Door. <laughs> okay. I'm going to throw something out there. It's probably not going to do anything. But if there's any people watching this video who participate in like, like paper, like in like the Paper Mario modding challenge things, like, please someone make that like a Paper Mario mod. Oh, come on. It would be so funny, <laughs> like just 27,000 year <laughs> mayor election. <laughs> Please make it happen. It would make uh, my year. It's this enormous honorary dragon. Each folk, they say, like <laughs> You know, Hooktail, right? Uh, I may have heard about that name. Some people in town told me about it. Well, this Hooktail's will fly my snack into all of us spawn pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? Wait, wait, wait hold on now. What, um, excuse me? This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. And come, wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward. Um. If the reward has come, I won't. What not selfish, man. You know the end. Yup, a good egg. Now, did you see your name was again? I'm not an egg, I'm a man. Murphy? Uh, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murph. Um, it's Mario. I appreciate that, Murph. They are <laughs> nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you intend on going to Oakdale Castle, find a secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Shawang Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Oh, yeah. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that hooktail monster. <laughs> I love that he pronounces the name Murphy. What? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I just, I find it incredibly funny how he pronounces the word Murphy. He's just like, Murphy! But no, Murphy! Murphy! That's Croup, the mayor of Pelberg. He just babbles, whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile, or if he's just working that angle, you know? Oh, okay, he just, he oh. just tries to look senile. Also, he's 28,000 years old! <laughs> I know about that, you just told me. Murphy! How, how old do you think is old Mrs. 
was before she died. Oh. Maybe Scoo. What was the name? Was it Scoo? Yeah, old man Scoo. Maybe Scoo was his old missus. Oh my god, I got old, an email. Old, it's old man Scoo, <laughs> not old missus. You think they're gonna change this to you got a text message? Nah, I don't. I think it'll still be email. Or is it you, you got you, a DM? <laughs> you got a DM. It's, it's, it's the Discord noise. Oh wait, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. You're skipping my text. You got an email. As you travel, you may receive you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. Also, sometimes people you haven't met. That's what they call spam. You can read these emails on your mailbox. You can press start dash pause to access the menu and check your e slash mail period. You'll find other important things on your gear screen. And he's so helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Franklin here in E form. Wow, he knows about E. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this one while you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you. And I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Franklin, look at this trash. Oh my god. Oh. Man, this, like. This is a fancy mailbox. It supports uh, JPEGs. But I'm like, couldn't frankly just take a picture anywhere other than with his <laughs> trash? With his garbage. <laughs> like he's standing next to his garbage can. Like, yeah, selfie. <laughs> now I'm imagining people like sending you, shooting you a friendly like message like, hey, how's it go? <laughs> and then add a picture next to your garbage can. Uh, yeah. RDM. Rate. This could get dangerous if it lasts too long. <laughs> no, no, it's very simple. It stands for Read Dungeon Meshi. Okay. Oh, you actually remind me of the racism, but remind oh, yeah. me after this email. <laughs> Dear Mr. Mario, thanks for registering with Rogueport Direct Mail RDM service. Mm. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. <laughs> Our direct mail service will provide you with regular, timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. The PRC. Hmm. Hello, your mayor told me I could go in. An old stronghold called Shrunk Fortress lies ahead. Stone Creature lives there. He told me he's impervious to fire. At least might live there. Yeah, my job's uh -huh. Garden Gate, you know. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Okay. Do you need some oil for that? Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please! Oh, look at that cutie. Who, me? Uh, 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 pardon, no, no, pardon for yelling like that. I, I was panicking. Um, how, how to begin? Um, my name's Coops. Cool. I, I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. No, I'm traveling to Swan Fortress. So, so, so anyway, I, uh, I, I have a favor to ask. What's your blood type, by the way? It's a positive. Um, you don't sound like an a positive I, guy. I, well. Um, can, can, I, uh, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good. Uh, goodbye. That butterfly scared okay. me. Okay. That was weird. What do you think that was about? Talk about issues, am I right? I'm just a little scared of bugs, Goombella. Jesus. Yeah, that was a very wild butterfly. I'm going to say hi to the guy. Hello. <laughs> just imagine you just go back up and be like, Hey, is everything okay, buddy? What'd you say to me, little punk? Uh, look, I... Listen, just just forget that whole scene I made earlier, okay? It, it was nothing. I, I was just fooling around or something. Okay. Do you notice some kind of... Like, there's a huge string of unused text referring to some kind of, like weird noises that are in Koops' house that you hear at night. 
It feels like there's an entire like oh. uh, side quest there that got scrapped. Ah, uh, maybe, yeah. Some kind of ghost thing. Maybe a reference to Luigi's Mansion. Who knows? Also, I need to tell normal Goombas. Well, I doubt it would be that. <laughs> um, but first, but first, let me talk about racism. Isn't that a thing where they removed like some kind of like classist thing from the official Dungeons and Dra Dragons game? Anyway, Koopa. From Dungeons and Dragons? Maybe it's something else. Oh, that's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect longevity. The shells are hard, but flip them over and the defense drops to zero. You know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. Okay. I'm gonna let them attack, though. We wanna see that epic attack. Wow. Anyway, yeah, uh, maybe it's not Dungeons and Dragons, but it's some kind of fancy thing where there used to be classes, and some classes were always considered evil. Yeah, I think uh, it, and yeah, then it was they a got thing. Rid of that. I mean, it's not necessarily that all some classes were always considered evil, but it was it was, it was something about orcs because oh. orcs have been in hot water for a while because some people claim that a lot of like orcs is like oh no, this like stereotyping for black people, and I mean obviously I'm not an expert on this, but. I know, it always seems weird to me because it's like oh, orcs are fancy that, creatures. Exactly. So. Maybe it is. Maybe people in the comments can tell I mean, us. About I remember it. something like that happening where people were making a hubbub about orcs and that they did change something in in the dungeon manual about like something about the descriptor of orcs or something. Mm. I'm sure someone in the comments will let us know. No, but exactly it, it, it was, was something like, oh, uh, these, like, this race is always evil. And then people are saying, well, it's not really, like, necessarily true. Yeah. But, like, I, I would think that's a different thing because orcs are never necessarily evil because you can make a player character and you can play as an orc. And then it would, hmm. it would be stupid if then, okay, but then you're forced to be evil. All right. Uh, anyway, our first level up. I'm gonna go for FP, actually. Nice. Because that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. As a... Well, I'm not gonna say as a kid, because as a kid I just did HP, 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 FP, HP, 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 and all that. But, um... Yeah, no, as a smarter kid, as a little bit older kid, I did always do FP first. Because I just wanted to use my epic moves. Hmm. Now, my brain was always like, I need to do HP, FP, BP, I need that structure, and it's always the same. No. But then it's no, silly no. when it's like, when it's like, oh man, I have these badges, I could really use more BP. Oh, but I guess I have to wait like two more levels before I can add BP. Yeah, you... Yeah. I, was, I, I was very particular about that. Oh, no, my bingo! Also, if you hear some sound effects missing, uh, I've noticed that, and I don't know why it happens. Oh. Sometimes the sound effect just doesn't play. I think it might be my totally official GameCube. Oh, look at Pow Block. What do you think Pow stands for? Oh yeah, uh, quick thing. Uh, if people know exactly what I'm talking about or what I'm remembering, uh, tell us in the comments. I'm actually interested. Yeah. Also, I'll... yeah. What do you think the Pow stands for? Uh, prisoner of War. Ah yes. This is part of Schwank Fortress. We got a couple of pedestals here. That's it. Looks pretty decent, but this place is actually insanely old. Did you know that? No. I'd say it was built about a thousand years ago. Yep. What vibrant ruins. Did you want to say something about the racism? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. So I can continue? Yeah. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Do you think it was the intention to... Well, actually, first this. In this battle... Oh, like Mumbella tells us, actually, so I don't have to tell you. You are intended, quote unquote. Ooh. That's a that's a ball clair. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Okay. Uh this is kinda mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. That's not mean, that's just an opinion. Just your taste. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack with, say, a power block. Is this the monster they were talking about that was impervious to fire? Whoa! Yeah, the game is kind of intending you to use the power block, and the game 
you know, quite, quite generously gives you a pot walk right outside. However, if you want to have some fun, that also works. Except when it doesn't. Uh, if you do it correctly. But you can actually just defend. And these guys only have one attack power, so if you do nothing, they can't even damage you. So you can kind of just, you know, practice your super guards if you want to do that. Because uh, we will see more cleft in the game. And then you can save that little pile block. Yeah. And clefts all have like the same animation, so... Yes. Now if you learn well, against these guys... not all clefts, but... Yeah, okay. We'll say all clefts. And there you go. And then we save the pile block. And there is actually a point to me saving that power block. Wow. But yeah, do you think the intention of this little area leading up to the third fortress uh, is sort of a reference to the original uh, Super Mario Bros. Where, you know, you have a little grassy path and then you come to a fortress. Oh. And there's Koopas and Goombas, oh my. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that, but maybe. Because I feel like they could have had, you know, instead of a hallway... Had like a little fun area, you know, with some platforming and all that. But no, it's Teach by We gotta have our hallways. Yeah. Also, apparently, uh, I heard that like this game got a bunch of pre-orders. Well, not this game, mm. the remake, obviously. It was like uh, maybe it's weird things sold out, but there was something about the pre-orders where there were a lot more than expected. Really? Well, that's good. Which is either Paper Mario fans going crazy? Because I honestly didn't expect the remake to do that good. I expected it to do decently well. But, mm -hmm. you know, most people who who really want that T2ID remake is, you know, the loud minority. Yeah. But I do like think, the like, online. the fact that when the remake got announced, mm -hmm. there was definitely suddenly a huge groundswell of people being super excited about it. And yeah. I think, for example, like those YouTube reaction videos and stuff, then got picked up by the algorithm and got very popular. So I do think there's a lot of people who maybe don't know about Paper Mario, who see how excited people are, and they're like, oh, maybe I'll check it out too then. Mm. No, people who know mo mostly about the newer games. And they're like, why are people excited about this old one? And then they might check it out and maybe yeah. see some videos about it, and they're like, oh, you know what, I'll check it out, I'll pre-order that. And... Uh, I definitely won't be the first guy to tell you that TTYD does have a lot of issues, but I mean, those issues really come out if you played as much as I do. Yeah. Um, but if you played, you know, casually for fun, which what I used to do is just play it every every year once. Um, yeah, this is a really, really fun game to replay every once in a while and try new strategies. Yeah. That's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. So prickly! Mm -hmm. uh, defense is four. <gasps> and they're impervious to fire! Oh my god, are these guys the monster that guy was talking about? The monster was impervious to fire? Must be. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous! Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out! Oh yeah. Uh, you can also just defeat the bulk left with power smash or power jump. Oops. So, since you can't jump on it, or use your hammer, you better use an item. Yeah, these guys you literally can approach with, even with Power Smash. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll show it. Boom. I like that interaction, actually. Yeah. It's very unique. Um, but you can do the same thing. They only have one attack power. So if you defend, boom, you're impervious to your damage, and you can just super guard them to death, even if you keep failing. But... Uh, I only need, quote unquote, need the one extra pal block, so I'm mm -hmm. just gonna use it. And yeah. it's over with. Also, I can't believe it hasn't happened yet, but interactions that cause some kind of like, you know, the ground to shake or something do have a decently high chance to have stage hazards happening, which it's weird that we haven't seen it yet. And mm -hmm. uh, despite popular belief a power block is only capable of the having the background falling not causing stage hazards hmm. 
Yeah, we haven't seen the background fall. I do think in the remake, um... Like, don't most drops in the back have, like, a little paper thing jutting out in the front as to signify it's standing up with that little paper stand? Yeah, I think so. I like so, that. Yeah, I like that nice. a lot. Does it actually, like, flip like over that. if things fall? I mean, I, I would assume... Yeah, I would assume that once... Like, you... For example, like, yeah, use a power block or something and it's gonna wobble and fall over, that the little lip that holds it in place will actually fold and then like, boop, fall over. And do you think that'll be the only signifier? Because in this game, only? the signifier is that like, oh, look at that thing wobble. Oh no, I think it'll still wobble. It's still okay. more visually distinct than if just that little thingy folds. It's yeah, still gonna do the wobble. I do like how you can just eat the wobble way in advance. In, the, uh, in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, well, I don't know if I want to show it. I'll show it later, I guess. Or I can just tell you. Um, pile blocks in this game, and in, in the original Paper Mario, actually, hit flying enemies. That is so weird. I don't get that. Why does it do that? So, like, if it's in the original and in this game, it can't be a mistake, can it? I mean, that is weird. Because later you got the Earthquake item, and that item doesn't hit flying enemies. Mm. So, like, in, in, in Mario Bros, the original, if a firefly is jumping, it doesn't, doesn't get hit yeah. by it when it's in the air. By the power block? Oh. I don't know. It's weird, and I don't like it, but whatever. Also, look at this! It's a cute little hard block. Oh, sorry, sorry. God damn it. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's this block to replenish all the HP, uh, all the hub, hard points of Mario and his partner. Doing this will also replenish all of Mario's fap points. <laughs> I mean, flower points. <laughs> However, it will cost you the number of coins shown on the block. So be ready to play. You like this change? Compared to the original, to make you have you to pay. pay some money to use hard blocks. I mean, I remember playing this game and being like, an <gasps> "Excuse thing, but... me, I have to pay money." Okay, I wasn't like that. I am. I, I have to pay money for a heal. This isn't Pokemon. I didn't know that Paper Mario World got poisoned by capitalism. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way to here to Schwank Fortress, you must want Stone Key. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. Are you impervious to fire? Do I have to do your voice for this entire thing? <laughs> if well, you, you started. Win, I'll let you through to where the Stone Keys rest. They're very sleepy boys. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? No thanks. <coughs> nah. Bah, you utter coward. Be gone. What? What was that? Now you wanna try? Well, what now that voice? I changed my voice? Alright, I'll take you one. <laughs> You're in for it now. I also like that. That's a lot more goofy like this. Yeah. I also like that in the remake, he's like really made out of folded pieces of cardboard. Oh, is he actually? Mm hmm. Hey, hey, ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz! I do like that, it's like it's like a very Japanese thing. Mm -hmm. Dev name you like the Super Fun Quirk Quiz! Break up those ears! If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win! We got three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment! Now, for the first question! What's hidden in this place? 
Peach. Uh, is she? She might be. Who knows? That's a good option. She might be. Okay, wait. Yeah. Is Princess Peach impervious to fire? I don't think so. Wait, is oh, she? Okay. No, she's not. In okay, like she... 3D world, she can get hit by fire. Uh, oh, okay, then she can't be the monster. Hmm. Uh... I do like pickles. But a stone shaped like a pickle? Is that your real answer? Are you a sure? Astro Lenny, oh, Lenny, please, oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Habibi, or is or is the pickle stone? Just a stone that's been pickled <laughs> for a very long time. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Let the pressure get to you. Or don't. I mean, whoops. <laughs> On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fireflower cost in the shop in Pedalburg? Total! Well, fuck, I didn't enter the shop. Oh, no. 16 coins in this economy? Probably. Hey, nice. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Damn, you okay? That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. Dang, he's got some rage issues. So prepare yourself. Moving on. Question three. What is the last name of the mayor of Paddleburg? Oh, it's not old man Scoo. Was it Scoo? I think it was Scoo. Maybe it was Couscous. Mm. Couscous. Cusco? I think it was Cusco. Ooh. Honestly, if you ask me, it does make sense. Hmm. Fuck! Real talk, Couscous would be a good name for like a Koopa partner who's like a chef. Yes, exactly. Hey, you blithering meathead! You're again. Well, that's rude. Get one more wrong and something wonderfully awful happens to you. Just one more wrong. <laughs> What's that I hear? Your little knees knocking. We're not done yet, folks. A question four. Tell me now, where is that crystal star? Okay, I don't limp on the moon. Well, that's that came out of nowhere. I know, but Franklin's map really—I don't know—gave me the feeling it was going to be on the moon. Second guess, Hotel Castle. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. That's correct. That question was too easy, but only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can you get to Pedal Meadows? From Pedal Meadows to Rockfort. Well, you know, pipe travel. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh, much harder. Prepare yourself. On to uh, question six. Which of the following creatures have hands? You have to look through an encyclopedia first with like anatomical drawings to be like, wait, which body part? No, he looked at, at his own lack of hands and was very sad. Aww. Oh, I remember. Because if you have a lot of fingers, Obviously, oh, you know, it just follows that you have hands. I remember Koopa Troop having a lot of fingers. That so is correct. I'm pretty sure Koopa Troop does have hands. Not sure what fuzzies are, but I mean, right again, my voice in for a third time. 
Tell me you didn't just get a fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Now for the last question. Oh my. What number question is this? If only there was some kind of way to know. Hmm. It has to be like the... Six Super question 64? Yeah. Is that a real answer? Are you Triple beep. <laughs> run, run, run. The run hurts. That's true. Three runs. How awful for you. I heard going Bella do a little squiddy. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the playing game. I love the playing game. I'll be nice, beat these guys, and I'll let you pass. But you can't possibly do it. Best of luck, fathead. <laughs> I don't see what this has to do with planes. Why do you call me fathead? Holy fuck, look at those hell items. Ooh. Well, hey, hello. These are clefts. My voice hurts a little. These Sorry. are actually normal clefts. Your voice can rest for a little bit. Funny thing, though, I should look this up. Or maybe you can look this up after mm -hmm. eating Goombella Towel. I want to know these guys' uh, name in Japanese version. Because oh, okay. I'm going to guess. I actually don't know this. I, I think that they're probably called, like, you know, gr gray, clefts gray clefts or something. Or, something. or yeah. like, weak clefts. Something along those lines. Pale cleft. I don't know. Hmm. But first, let's read Goombella's Zavel. That's a cleft. A rock-headed jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. What is Boggly Woods? Oh, I don't know what that is. That hard head is a major pain. Oh, we said pain game. <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, shit. Fire doesn't hurt it, but it other types of items are pretty effective usually. Lenny needs a monster that's impervious to fire. It wasn't Peach. Oh my god! Ugh. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always try it. just run. Yeah, uh, okay. Sounds like a good option. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see. Fuck. Um, yeah, uh, this is why I kept the power block. Because if you keep the power block, you can just destroy these guys and get a bunch of star points. It's really a really easy way to get like 20 of them. Maybe 24, actually? Oh, 24, Jesus Christ. Hell yeah. So I do recommend doing this. It's a very nice and easy way to get a couple of star points. What? what? It can be! How did you defeat my cute little clefts? <laughs> Fine, whatever. But if you can pass, but I despise you. Spin. <laughs> Alright, let's save. I definitely don't want to do that again. <laughs> How do you feel about this, Gumbella? It's a swamp fortress. Suspicious, Suspicious statue. statue. I'm pretty okay, sure it's a thorn bust. Up. It's not a bust. That's rude. Hey, I just remembered something I read about this place in the book. Boring. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they'd hide in this fortress. Guess there's a little bit of history everywhere you look, huh, Mario? Alright, cool. 